I want to talk about a little bit about the curse of comparing and a thought we've covered before is this, the fastest way to kill something special is to compare it to something else because you can't fulfill God's purpose for you when you're comparing to someone else. You'll never be able to do what God uniquely created you to do when you're always looking at what she's doing, what he's doing, what they're doing, what they think. You can't fulfill your calling when you're comparing to somebody else. John compared himself to Peter. Peter compared himself to John. Who does Jesus like more? Who's most important? Uh, who should sit in the most important place? And he said to Peter, do, do you love me? And Peter's like, yes, I do. And Jesus said, your purpose is go feed the sheep. That's, that's your calling. Peter turned around and saw behind him the disciple that Jesus loved. So Jesus says, here's your calling. And the very next thing that Peter does is he looks at John. Peter asked Jesus, what about him? What's his purpose? What, what, what's his calling? What, what's he gonna do? And Jesus replied, if you want him to remain alive until I return, what's that for you? As for you, follow me. I came to tell somebody today, stop comparing your calling. I love what the author to the Hebrews says about our focus. He says in Hebrews 12 verses one and two, let us run with perseverance. Man, how many of you know this season takes some perseverance? Let's not give up. Let's not grow weary in doing good. Let's remain faithful. Let's keep our eyes focused on the right thing. Let us run with perseverance. And then the author to the Hebrews says, the race marked out for us. In other words, there is a race that you're called to run. Your race is your race. My race is my race. You can't win my race, I can't win your race. Run with perseverance, your race. We fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and the perfecter of our faith. In the early years of ministry, in my 20s and in my 30s, I, I, so much of the time I was running the race like this. Who else is doing it? and how fast is their church growing and what, what kind of influence they have and you know who's speaking at that conference and why didn't I get invited to that and how come I'm not friends with so-and-so and, -so and wh why, why am I not there? And one of the greatest revelations I had along the way, and I don't always live in this, but it was just realizing is I am not called to run someone else's race. I'm in my lane. I'm gonna stay in my lane. I'm gonna keep my eyes on Jesus. He is the author and the perfecter of my faith. I'm running the race he created me to run. Keep your eyes focused on Jesus. Stop comparing your calling. You can't win every race, but you can win yours. Step into it. Embrace his calling.